After mistaking the swastika for Adolf Hitler's Hakenkreutz, or Hooked Cross, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Indian origin politician Jagmeet Singh have sparked a fresh controversy. Hundreds of truck drivers protested against Canada's COVID-19 regulations, while new Democratic Party leader Jagmeet Singh tweeted, swastikas and Confederate flags have no place in Canada. The Hindu Pact, a prominent Hindu organization in the United States, has encouraged Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Indian origin lawmaker Jagmeet Singh not to conflate the swastika, an ancient and auspicious symbol for Hindus, Buddhists, Sikhs, and many indigenous communities around the world with the Hakenkreutz, a Nazi symbol of hatred from the 20th century. How the world loved the swastika until Hitler stole it. The swastika is an ancient symbol that is generally agreed by scholars to have originated in India with its roots in the Vedas, the oldest scriptures of Hinduism. It is a cross with each limb bent at a 90 degree angle. It represents good fortune, the immensity of creation and the unconquered circling sun among other things. How did it become the symbol of the Nazi party? Heinrich Schliemann, a German businessman and archaeologist excavated at what turned out to be the historic city of Troy, however, he acquired his knowledge about the location from an expert, Frank Calvert, and did not credit him. Schliemann's extensive papers are filled with grandiose falsehoods and manipulations about everything that happened in his life, in part to make his public believe he was a genuinely great guy. Heinrich Schliemann's discovery of Troy in the 1870s set in motion the circumstances that turned the swastika, a symbol of prosperity and hope for thousands of years, into a despised and dreaded emblem of fascism. He believed that it was an important religious emblem of our remote ancestors. When he discovered 1,800 cases, his colleague, Emile Louis Bernouf, disagreed. Bernouf investigated a famous Hindu literature known as the Rig Veda and claimed to have discovered a link between the swastika and a mysterious ancient people known as the Aryans. Adolf Hitler, the leader of the Nazi party, argued that the Germans were superior to all other races. Hitler became obsessed with racial purity and used the word Aryan to describe his idea of a pure German race or Herrenvolk. But, the word Aryan, like swastika, is actually derived from Sanskrit. The Sanskrit term for Aryan meant honorable, respectable, or noble, and alluded to a social or linguistic differentiation, rather than a distinct racial group. Pots from the 6th century, with swastikas on them, were discovered in Germany, and researchers recognized the parallels between Sanskrit and German as more indication that the Aryans sprung from Germans. They believe this master race of white-skinned warriors represented the pinnacle of human culture and circling the swastika with them. But, in addition to being inherently discriminatory, the concept of a pure race is based on a misunderstanding. By the beginning of the 20th century, there was a huge fad for the swastika as a benign good luck symbol. It was enthusiastically adopted in the West as an architectural motif on advertising and product design. Coca-Cola made advantage of it. Carlsberg used it on the labels of their beer bottles. It was adopted by the Boy Scouts and the Girls Club of America named their magazine Swastika. They would even provide swastika badges to their young readers as a reward for selling magazine copies. Since World War II, the swastika has been vilified as a sign of hostility and racial intolerance. It is widely used by white supremacists and current incarnations of the Nazi party. The usage of the icon, along with other iconography, utilized by the party, is prohibited in Germany.